I'm often asked what's the simplest way of understanding what responsible tourism is. And I think the simplest way is to say it's about making better places for people to live in and better places for people to visit. Sustainable tourism has been around for a long time and it's achieved very little. In most places around the world, the words are just used and they're meaningless. I've heard many businessmen talk about something being sustainable and mean little more than that they, will, they hope they will still be in business next year. We have to mean more than that if we're going to make a difference to our planet. So sustainable tourism is really a rather vague aspiration that we might be sustainable. Responsible tourism is something quite different. It's about the positive actions that we take to make tourism better, to make it more sustainable. So responsible tourism is about what we do. Sustainable tourism is a vague aspiration. So what a responsible tourism hotelier, accommodation provider or tour operator needs to do is to look at what are the problems which happen in the destinations where they operate and what can they do about them. And that might be one of many different things. There's no one thing which should be done. And those things spread across the environmental, social and economic agendas. So, for example, you may take the view that one of the problems in the, in the local area is that the local community is not benefiting from tourism. So, employ local people as guides. Buy your food and your other products locally. If you're more adventurous, encourage a local group of people to set up a furniture workshop to make the furniture for your hotel or to turn out the soft furnishings and the arts and crafts that you need to decorate the hotel and then sell those arts and crafts to the people who come to stay in your accommodation. There are literally hundreds of examples now of what can be done to make a bigger impact on people's lives positively. So what are the seven principles of responsible tourism? The first is to do no harm, to minimise the environmental, social and economic negatives that you might have in a local community. The second is to do good. And that might include increasing the economic benefits going to local communities or the third principle, putting something back into the local natural or cultural environment by helping to reinvest in the cultural and natural heritage of the area. Where I'm standing now is an example of reinvesting in the natural heritage of the area by reforesting the area and the, the, the house to my right is an example of reinvesting in the cultural heritage of the area. The fourth thing is to take responsibility for ensuring that the local community is engaged in deciding what are the local priorities. And Kerala is a good example of that. In Kerala in 2008 it was very clear that there were two primary priorities for responsible tourism. One was to clean up the waste associated with tourism and the other was to improve the benefits going to local communities. And Kerala has been very successful in doing those two things. The next principle is that you need to create meaningful connections between the local people and the tourists. You need to create a, a set of memorable experiences which come from that meaningful, enjoyable relationship between the host and guest. The next principle is that you should always travel with respect and there should be respect between all the partners, government, the industry, the local community and local government. And the last principle is that we should try to make tourism fairer. We should try to include the disadvantaged, whether those people are disadvantaged by being differently abled or through having a lack of financial resources. The Lemon Tree Hotels in India is an excellent example of a hotel group, a big group, which has deliberately chosen to employ differently abled groups of people in their hotels. And 20% of their employees are people who are disciplinary differently abled, a real, really big achievement and one that India should be very proud of. And finally, perhaps underlining all of this, is the point that there should be transparency about what you're doing. If you're claiming that you, should be, that you are being responsible, if you're claiming to be part of responsible tourism, you need to say what you're taking responsibility for, how you're doing it and what the impact is. Just using the words is not enough. And if you're a visitor, then you need to ask. When somebody says they're responsible, ask them to tell you why and how they are being responsible. Otherwise, it's very often little more than greenwashing.